Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. There's the teddy bear there. We've got Mabel, and hiding behind Mabel is Lisa, who's back. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. And Lisa, what happened yesterday when you first went in to see Mabel? I had a Mabel cuddle, a proper Mabel cuddle. I've never had one before. So she put her leg it's up really, around yeah, you. Yeah, really yeah. cute. So you're really honoured. I know, I am. It just shows I? how much she's missed you as well, no. as well as all of us. Am I the right colour for her? You are. You've got oh, Mabel's colours. Mabel Mabel's sock. I've got socks on. To Hold match. on. Oh, no, you've you got your boots on. No, we won't see them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's lovely to have you back. How long are you staying with us? Oh, let's see what happens. <laughs> It could be any time. It could be any time. Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got Ewan over here, who's come in for the morning, doing a bit of the usual, mucking out. Who did you have in there last night? Teddy bear. Yeah. 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 So he's over here. Unfortunately, Teddy bear is still quite sore no, on, on no, his foot. No, and Annie's going to come in and help you now, Ewan. Filming is going to be a little bit difficult today because it's incredibly windy and I've lost my microphone, so excuse the wind noise. Now, something that did really worry me this morning was little Nero. I went out to the field, and I'm just gonna stand in here so you don't get the wind noise. I went out to the field to give them haylage, and he was laid down, and he didn't seem to want to get up when, it, when the others came over. And he then lay on his side, and by this stage I was beginning to get really worried, thinking he was colicking. But he then did get up and did some droppings, so I thought that's a good sign. But clearly he's quite uncomfortable on his hock again. He's been holding it up and resting it for a while. So I'm going to give him a clean up now and I think we're going to keep him up here over in, in the turnout just so that he's, he's not moving around too much. And then I'll have a chat with Sam and see, you know, whether we just do that for a while, whether it's too soon to medicate his hock again, or whether we even look into, you know, further action. Behind him there is Hannes Angel Eyes, who's also just come in for his treatment on his eye. He's obviously not got whole for the next 12 days. The good thing is, is that Jane Holden, who also comes to visit us regularly, She's going to be arriving tomorrow, and actually, they love each other. I'm going to put her in charge of all his, his daily treatments, but she's going to be very disappointed in him because he's managed to rip a big hole in the side of his rug, which wasn't very clever, was it, Hannes? That's what's going on here Monday morning. We've got little Princey over there, and the other boys will all be coming in for a clean up today. So I've given him a feed there with some anti-inflammatories in just to help him with the pain management. It's, it's not unexpected this because we know that that hock is very badly arthritic. So it's now just a case of us working out what's, what's the best next step. Because it is something that needs managing for the rest of his life. Just like with Hannes and his, his sarcoids. If he's got the cancer, it's not gonna go away and it's just a case of managing it. Teddy bear's been in bed most of the day. He's still feeling very sorry for himself. So he's had an ice boot on on this leg this morning and he'll have it on again tonight. But it's just really taking its time to heal. We've also got little Hidder in today. After the storm last night he was quite tired so when Jody went down to feed everybody we decided that he needed to come in and have a sleep, so he's going to stay in for the night. So he can be Mabel's babysitter. So Jodie's also brought Dow in, because everyone's a bit grubby now, it's gone muddy again. She's having a tail wash. And then Lisa's over there with Wren, who also gets tired outside, so she's going to have a little bit of a sleep in the stable this afternoon. Hey Wren Wren. 
and it's not long till Ren's 19th birthday. Look, she's tired, bless her. Sleepy girl. There's Jim and now. We've got Iceman looking lovely with his plaits. He's a gorgeous boy. So he's keeping Nero company at the moment. Hannes was in with him earlier because he, as you know, he doesn't do very well on his own. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna let him stay out here so that he can still move around a little bit, which of course is important with the arthritis. And Teddy Bear can join him for the night. And then Annie has accosted Diane for some cuddles and scratches. And Diane has bought the most amazing gift, which I'm going to do another video about to tell you about the wonderful things that she's created to help raise funds for all the horses. It wasn't going to work out with Bear and Nero because Nero started chasing Bear around. So we've opted instead to put one of the other big bosses, Hidda, out with him for the night because Hidda will discipline him and put him in his place in the nicest possible way, won't you floppy do? Although you won't enjoy being with Nero rather than your girls. But because Obi has taught him how to respect the older gentleman, he is pretty good now. The other thing is I've just come off the phone to Sam and I discussed what was happening with him and he's agreed that we just need to give him a week or so to see how he manages and the additional pain relief. In the meantime he's going to forward his x-rays to one of the surgeons up at Edinburgh University Hospital just to get an idea of what they suggest could be a course of action for us to take for him because at just five years old, we know that this is something that he's going to have to deal with for life. And if there is something that we can do that is going to make him more comfortable sooner rather than later, then it would be nice to know exactly what that is. Because what we can't do is medicate his hock again too soon. Sam's saying really the earliest we would want to do it is April. But as I said before, you know, this weather doesn't help because, you know, it's damp, it's wet, it's cold, and that doesn't help anyone with arthritis. It's the end of the day and Teddy Bear's back in bed. Jodie's just done some pulsing with him, some PEMF again. But I spoke with Sam again about the fact that he's still uncomfortable and feeling sorry for himself. And I, I know I'm just being impatient because it takes time. But if he's really no better by the time we're taking Mabel up and Hunnis up on the 5th of February, then Teddy Bear will come along as well. Right after I'd said that, Bear did this in the stable, which was just heartbreaking to watch. Now, despite him having the highest level of pain relief that I can give him, he's clearly still struggling with the discomfort in his leg. When I spoke to Sam last week, we'd both agreed that we needed to be patient, allowing him time really to recover. But to see him like this is just so frustrating. Now, whatever the problem is, the likely solution is just going to involve rest. Um, but he hasn't shown any real improvement since our initial visit to see Sam two weeks ago. Having seen him do this, I know that we, we've got to delve deeper into this. And, and even if it's just to give me the reassurance that we're doing the right thing, um, I think we need to know more about what's going on with that leg. You know, this is the reality of life with horses or, or any animals. You, we can have months of, of nothing happening at all and then all of a sudden we're hit with all sorts of challenges and it's, it's just the inevitable ups and downs of life here. But when we're dealing with things like this, you, you feel really helpless, but I think as long as we're doing everything that we can to keep them comfortable, 
that's all we can do. On a more positive note, I'm pleased to say that Nero seemed much more comfortable this evening and hopefully by this time tomorrow we'll know more about what's going on with Bear and we'll have found a way to make him more comfortable too. That was Monday, so that's the way the week has started. Full of ups and downs like we have a lot of the time here. You know, it can't all be good, it can't all be bad. It's frustrating and I hate seeing the horses in discomfort, but we just do what we can for them. But thank you again for, for watching us. And as always, if you've not hit that subscribe button, please do, because if we can grow our following, then it will help with advertising Re revenue through YouTube. And that can all go towards supporting the horses and what we do here so that we can keep helping them and keep sharing them with everybody. Thank you and good night.